You looking for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare. So watch your ass around me. Nice job, Eagle Eye. Of course I got a pit boy and a vault suit. So what? Sorry. The shit I do with it is so far over your head, be wasting my time to put it in words you could understand. Basically, it makes me badass. More badass, I mean. It's totally mind-blowing shit. It ain't just some bracelet. Know what I mean? Jed says it's got maps and shit like that. So that's how I'm gonna guide this caravan where it needs to go. Not that I didn't know all that already. Huh? Of course I noticed. First thing I noticed about you. Me? I'm so used to wearing mine. Bullshit! Ain't nothing wrong with my pit boy. I, I mean, pit boy! Look, this is a sweet gig for me. Don't go fucking it up. What are you after anyways? Fine. You win, asshole. Enjoy leading the expedition into a fucking ambush. Hope you all die! How's the NCR gonna protect Vegas if it can't even protect its own president? They say those... Looking to join this caravan, huh? Look to me like you can handle yourself. Earning my keep. Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House-type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Towns run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. The scuzz factor's off the charts. Non-stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So I got my ass out of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? Catch you another time, then. Robots on the strip are running around with different... Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah. You look the type. Damn good thing you came along, too. We had another prospect with a pit boy, but he done skedaddled. Something must have spooked the boy. Just like that, huh? <laughs> you got guts, I'll give you that. You sure you want to jump in blind? Ain't got no questions about where we're going or why? I bet you are. But you ain't going nowhere loaded down like a pack brahmin. Huh. <laughs> I do believe you could. You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain, and too much weight will kill you in the thin air. Yeah, reckon you will. Or faces or something. Don't ask, cause I don't know.
How's the NCR gonna protect Vegas? If are you here to jar me a while longer? Or are we ready to get this show on the road? Are you now? You know we ain't coming... I don't want no whining about old... You... Well... Oh. It can't even protect its own presence. The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. All right, people. Been a long couple of weeks. But here we are, Zion. I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired. But I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't... We've got the maps on our friend's Pip-Boy over there. Enough lollygagging. Get moving. And keep an eye out for tribals. Sorry to bother you with reality, old Jed. Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? It's not a problem. Shh. Hold on now. I could swear I heard something up ahead. God damn it! Ambush! Cover people! Watch yourselves!
White legs don't leave survivors often. You're some kind of lucky, let me tell you. You came from outside, didn't you? From the civilized lands. Wow. Joshua will want to hear about this. Joshua Graham. He leads our tribe. Thanks to him, the dead horses are strong and safe from our enemies. He'll want to talk to anyone coming up from Southways. I guess that means just you now. Come, I can take you to him. Good sists, we head east then. Joshua is at our tribe's camp in the Eastern Virgin. Hold up. See that log over there? Take a closer look. There might be some good stuff tucked in there. We follow this path for a while. Nice view of the river. Yeah, 